Some more wood from Hawaii. What this is is mango. This is some curly mango. When you look at mango, you see in this color right here, that's what color mango normally is. Say if it's just freshly milled and they go and kill and dry it, you know, right away. But see, I like to leave it to where it sits for a while and dries slow so it can color up. So it gets these, the coloring here that'll look like mustard stain and browns. But you see, looking at the edges, you can see it kind of goes in different layers there. So it's just kind of random blotches of the color. And so as you shape it and finish it, you just get different areas with different colors. But you notice the figure on this. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something with a lot of the Hawaiian woods to where the wood has a lot more of a metallic-y luster to it. I think it might be something with the volcanic soil or something like that, who knows. But it really makes for neat looking wood. Now mango is one of those woods that most people outside of Hawaii are not familiar with because you don't see a whole lot of it. And pieces like this will come from a twisty kind of tree to where it's not straight and not easy to, um, to mill. So you see that's why we get the different grain patterns, the different patterns in the figure. But each of them, you know, well none of them are like each other. They're all different, but they're all really bright and flashy. And these are stabilized. And so these ones are ones that I cut for bigger handles to be used like on fighter blocks, something like that. But then there'll be other smaller ones where it's a norm, more normal size knife handle block. So there'll be a good mix of sizes, colorings, and figure in the ones that are going in the store now.